Hey everyone, welcome to another Reality Skew Gamers video. I am Finity, and today we are bringing you a special video about a new tool that is designed to help you in territory battles. Now, one of the most difficult things in territory battles is trying to figure out which members of your guild have completed what combat missions. And it may be an improvement that the developers are working on right now. However, currently in the game, it's not there, and it is an important part of territory battles in order to make sure that your guild is fully cooperating. So with that, Discord is definitely a tool that everyone should be using or some other kind of chat method in order to make sure that they have the conversation going with their guild. Um, what I'm going to be showing you is a, an image tool. It's called the Territory Battle Image uh, Discord Image Tool. And this is a tool specifically designed for Discord. However, it could work on other uh, messaging platforms as well. So what this will do is allow you to track what everybody in the guild has completed if everybody is active on Discord, which should be something that everyone is doing. So the first thing you want to do is create a new channel specific for what are called the phase maps. Now, um, you can see that I have a channel already made here, so we'll go ahead and start working from here. In the description of this video, there is a link to our website, which will provide you the link to download a zip file. This zip file will have two different folders in it. One is for the maps and one is for the emojis. So I'll show you how all of that works right now. So once you have those extracted into a folder, you'll want to go into your channel at the beginning of your phase and go ahead and click this little plus button to add an attachment. Now you'll see that I have extracted the folders already in here. So we have the zip file, which you'll be able to download, as well as a folder for emojis and a folder for the maps. So if you go into your maps folder, you'll see that there is a map for each of the different phases that is currently going on. So if you are, for example, in phase one, you'll want to go ahead and attach the phase one image. Go ahead and upload that. And the phase one image will then upload onto your particular uh, channel. Now, each of these you'll see has a designation in terms of what these combat missions are. So the one that's on the left here is denoted with an A, the C is the special mission, and the B is the combat mission on the right. So the next thing is making it so your guildies can go ahead and click on those particular phases. So in order to do this, you'll need to make sure that you have administrator access onto your Discord. You'll go into the upper left and go ahead and go to your server settings. Once you're in your server settings, there's this option for emoji. So go ahead and go into your emoji. This will allow you to upload any kind of pictures into your Discord, and it'll be eligible for anybody in your Discord to utilize. So what you'll want to then do is upload the emojis that are in the emoji folder. The emojis you'll see are all just the numbers and the letters for the different phases. So territory one in phase one, combat mission A, B, C, for 2, you have A through C, and for 3. You can upload these all at the same time if you select all of them. And it'll upload and give it a title based on the name. So the files have already been named to represent what their particular nodes are. Once you have done that, go ahead and leave the settings menu and go back to your map. On the right side here, you'll see that there is this little smiley face icon. And this is to allow you to add reactions to this particular phase. So what you'll want to do is then add under the image the emojis that correspond to the combat missions available in that phase. So phase one has one A, one B, and one C. So I will go ahead and add one A, one B, and one C. So now whenever a guildie comes onto the page, they will be able to see it directly and they won't have to add it themselves. They can just go ahead, get on there, click it, and then you'll be able to get access to all of your guildies to be able to go ahead and click it. So what do the guildies do then? So whenever your guild members complete a particular combat mission, they should go ahead and get into Discord, go into the channel, and go ahead and click on the emoji that corresponds to the combat mission they've completed. So you'll see now that 1B has gone up to 2 which means somebody has seen it and somebody has clicked on it. Now, if it's a low number, if you highlight over it, you'll be able to see the names. 
once you start getting 30, 40 members, you have to go about a different way in order to see everybody that's completed it. So if you go to the right side into these little triple dots, there is an option for reactions. So if you're an administrator, you can go ahead and go to your uh, reactions and you'll be able to see who has clicked on each of these different emojis. So if you go to 1B, you will see that Reality Skewed Gamers, which is the account that I'm on to show you guys, is uh, has created it. So I'm going to be on it for all of these. But you'll see that Finity, which is my, my main account, has also clicked on this. So now I see that I am the one that clicked on it and became the second person. And as you get to 30, 40, and hopefully 50 people that have completed this, you'll be able to see the same list. Now, this still may require you to have a spreadsheet of some kind in order to make sure you identify who in the guild has completed it. However, this is a step up from what's currently in the game. So I hope this is something that you find useful and you're able to utilize. The Reality Skewed Gamer Psy Guild is currently using this, and it has been a help in order to figure out who has and hasn't uh, completed their missions. So I hope this tool has been helpful for you guys. And if you have any questions, you can go ahead and post them in the comments of this video. Or you can go ahead and hop on to the RSG Discord, which is linked in the YouTube description below, and you can go ahead and ask questions. So again, in the description of this video, you will find the link to the Reality Skewed Gamers webpage, where you can find the link to download the zip file. You can also hop on to the RSG Discord if you have any questions, and I hope that your territory battles become a little bit smoother with this tool.